and that's what uh, is the beginning of illness and disease and things like arthritis, uh, bursitis, all the joint problems. And what this will do is it will open those energetic channels up so that <coughs> energy will flow through and then it will clear out any of the food that has accumulated there. See, because things like wheat, which I mean, you know, wheat's in everything. <laughs> Or try to not eat wheat, I mean, it's almost impossible. And that doesn't digest. That's what happens. It, it acts like sandpaper, and that's what messes up the wrist and, and the different joints. It, it, it lodges in there because the, the energetic blockages take place in those joints, in those uh, the uh, frequency points of the chakra petals. Those will get blocked first, and then the food will accumulate there. It's sort of like a dam. It happens on the river. And the food will build up and build up and build up until uh, the, the joint doesn't work. And, and if you have like carpal tunnel or something, what, and you go to a doctor, they'll cut you open and they just scrape it off the tendons, sew it back up and send you on your way again. Yeah, it's just they're, they're taking the crud out of there is, is all that it is. And this will do the same thing, only it will clear it energetically so that you don't have that problem. And that's one of the reasons I understood that this was working. I was, I was really developing a lot of arthritis in my wrists. It's to the point I couldn't lift up a book. And I started doing this stuff, and I was doing the mantras first. And it, I could feel the energy just come down the arm, and it would hit the wrist, and I'd go, poof, poof, trying to get through. And I'd do the mantra for the wrist, and it would open up. And I went to the knuckles, and it hit the knuckles, and I did the knuckle mantra, and it opened that up, and the fingertips. Then all of a sudden I did this channel and it went whew, and the energy went through and I've never had arthritic problems again. It's like, you know, everything works in my body. Yeah. Can Gail see with the right hand? Mm -hmm. <laughs> How's that coming? It's coming. Yeah. It's lessening. It's still there, Definitely but it's lessening. It's lessening, and everything I own is is uh, feels like I'm plugged into the a socket. Mm. Yeah. So a lot of times it will it will be. As I said the body uses these frequencies over and over and over again to create the whole body mm. at different chakra <coughs> points. It would be like a different chord. Um, uh, if you know music, you do this. So if, let's say, that's the, let's say this is the, the note for the eyes that we're playing. If I add, say, that, I got one chord. Yeah? If I got that, I got another chord. If I got that, I got another chord. Okay, and that's what goes on with the chakras. Okay, it's like Okay, this is gonna be one chord. If I change the bass note to here, it'd be like changing the chakra, okay, but the frequencies remain the same. Everybody kind of get that? Not exactly. Okay. All right. Well, let me let me explain it in a different way. Let's take the water chakra. That's probably the easiest one to understand. This is our water chakra here. So there's uh, six petals on the water chakra, and this is what gives it uh, its nuance for having sexuality and stuff. Okay. <clears throat> These six petals, when you play them. At this level, you get cerebral spinal fluid. No, you get tears of the head. Right? Where is it? Where is it? No. If you play it at the level of the seventh chakra, you get cerebral spinal fluid. It's a fluid. Everybody knows cerebral spinal fluid. Mm -hmm. It gets a fluid. It's a really uh, highly refined fluid. They consider it that's where light travels or consciousness travels, and that's what you deal with. If you're a cranial cycle therapist, you're dealing with cerebral spinal fluid. Okay. If you play that same six frequencies against this, you get the fluids of the head, tears, saliva, things of the sort. If you play it here, 
you get against this frequency of the main the main bija chakra, okay, there's the main bija chakra, which would be the root node, you get blood. If you play it here, you get fluids of digestion. If you play it here, you get fluids of sexuality. If you play it here, you get your elimination fluids, urine and stuff like that. See, it's all fluids, but it has a little bit of nuances determined by the chakra, the main bija chakra, okay? And the whole body is like that. When I, when I figured that out, <clears throat> what happened, uh, I, figured, I figured out this fifth chakra, and this was like the sense organs of the, the body, the eyes and the ears. She's listening to like one of these pedals. And uh, people would come to me and they'd say, you know, it's just, I went through the windshield of the car, you know, do you have anything for the head? And I noticed when I would do this that my, my cranial patterns were changing, which is highly unusual. <laughs> you know, it's like years of cranial work to get any kind of cr cranial pattern to change. And mine were changing in like an hour. You know, and I'd, I'd get up and I'd look in the mirror, I could actually feel the stuff moving in my head and I'd go, Man, this is this is impossible. <laughs> and I get up and I look, and the cranial patterns have changed. So I said I'm a cranial psychotherapist, and so I knew my patterns. And I look, and I'm saying, "Geez, it's it's changed." And so I said, "Well, I I, I don't know about the head thing, but it seems to be connected to this fifth chakra." So they buy the fifth chakra, and they come back, and they say, "Yeah, it works." And so. I said, geez, you know, I wonder if I take that fifth chakra harmonics and play it against here, whether I could really isolate the, the bones, the cranial bones. And as a cranial psychotherapist, that should be like nirvana. You know what I mean? Because that's what they do, is they work with the cranial bones a whole bunch. And so uh, I figured it out, and sure enough, each each one of those is a different cranial bone. And it, it, like it, it, it is the formula for the bone. It's like the mold for the bone. As long as the mold is in place, that bone is going to come into place. And the cranial bones are sort of like a, a jigsaw puzzle. One goes out, they all go out. So I call up some cranial psychotherapists and said, you know, I figured out the frequency of the cranial bones and thought that they would be really excited. And they say, well, this is really great, but I deal with cranial nerves. I don't really deal with the cranial bones. And I said, well, I, don't, I have no idea what to do with the nerves. But, you know, I knew the cranial nerves, there were, there's 12 pair of them. And I said, you know, if, if that principle is true that I'm dealing with, the only chakra that has 12 petals on it is this one. So theoretically, if I play these harmonics, which I can play these harmonics and then I can play this separate Bija sound or main sound of the chakra, they have mix and match with it. Okay, so I said, well, if if this twelve is the cranial nerves, if I play this uh, petals against the Ajna chakra here, I should end up with the cranial nerves because these should be the frequency of the nerves theoretically. And so I made the CDs, started playing it, and sure enough, each of the cranial nerves went off as I went through that, which was 12 pair of them. And the, the overtone would be the right side, and the undertone was the, the yin side, or coming back to it. And I said, well, you know, if that's the case, then if I play this at the level of this, I should end up with the nerves of the cervical. And if that's the case, there should be 12 pair of nerves there are approximately 12 pair, and then this should be the thoracic, and there should be 12 pair there, and there should be 12 pair here, and 12 pair here, and 12 pair here at the perineum. So I fill out my anatomy and physiology chart, and there's 12 pair here, and there's 12 pair here, and there's 12 pair here, and there's approximately there. It was a little bit off, but it was pretty close enough that I said, you know, this is what the nervous system is. And that's the principle. It's like, so within like five minutes, I had the whole nervous system figured out. And then I said, well, if that's the case, then the muscles got to be the same. The lymph nodes have got to be the same. The bones have got to be the same. That the chakra here determines the position of whatever you're dealing with or what 
uh, the nuance of it. And so within uh, probably an hour, I had like the whole body literally figured out. After, I mean, it took me many years to get to that point. <laughs> but I had it figured out in like an hour. It was like an epiphany. And then I just started making the CDs and verifying it, and that took many months to, to complete them and listen to them because it's like you're, you, know, you're, you detox so much, it's really difficult to listen to them. And then I'd go back and try to make CDs, and I was going right brain, left brain, right brain, left brain. And it was really kind of difficult to do. Yes? Daryl, would it be unusual, for instance, to get like your energetics of the okay. spine CD and realize healing? And then all of a sudden acknowledge underlying issues you didn't even know were there because of, of maybe a more, a more painful issue that overrode that? Uh, let me talk, let's talk to Gail a minute. Sure. Do you want me to set up? Yes, yeah, set up. Do you want to talk about what your experience was? Um, well, first of all, I don't even know if I can stand up, seriously, I understand. Um, yeah, um, it's a really nice, it was a really nice sound. I could listen to it for like definitely all night. Um, right now I feel a little bit weak and my eye feels um, different. And when you said about the, um, sorry, <laughs> I'm getting a good thing. You said it was something about the cataract, but then you said something about an uh, injury. That's what you said. And that's what happened. It was a I, I injured this eye. Um, so as I was laying there just looking, it, it became not as cloudy as it was, for sure. Okay. Yeah. But it was a very pleasant experience. It wasn't, yeah. there's no pain, maybe just like a little pulling sensation. Yeah. It, it'll depend what's in there. If there's a lot of pain in there, it will show up as pain. If there's not a lot of pain in there, it will be stress or whatever's in there. Like later on, though, like as I continue to listen to this later on, it may show up as pain yes. or yes. not necessarily. There, there's, right a lot, there's liable to be pain in there, and that will need to come out for you to go back to having perfect vision. So that would be the, I was going to ask you a question, which obviously the answer is no. Would it be okay to like listen to that in my CD, in my car? No. <laughs> I have read on there that you're not supposed to drive when I okay. listen to these. Okay. Because it's, it's very like relaxing and very... Yeah. It's sort of like getting a cranial work. Yeah, you don't want to get cranial work while you're driving down the road. <laughs> it's not a good idea. Yeah, um, <clears throat> yeah so the uh, unconsciousness was the weakness that was in that area coming up. Uh, she's doing a little bit of detox. That's why she's a little disoriented and having a hard time sitting up uh, and is weak. What else did you say was going on? Basically, it just, I'm just having trouble putting a sentence together with this. Okay. <laughs> yeah, well, you see, what, what goes on with these is your, your dimension changes. Your vibration changes. Your vibration determines the dimension that you live in. It depends sort of like on what chakra level you're living in. And what happens is you start to work with this, that changes, and so you start to perceive the world at a different dimensional level. And sometimes it's hard to connect into that at first. You become somewhat disoriented with it. See, and that, that's one of the, the values of this that I think will really, it will significantly alter mankind, humankind. Because it, it will, I, you know, the hundredth monkey effect will, will take place. That eventually as people keep listening to these, they'll raise their consciousness up more and more because they're clearing the fear out. And as they clear the fear out, they get into higher and higher dimensions. And as that happens, it's just gonna bring the whole frequency of the earth up. So why wouldn't you just work with the chakras? Like why, if you have the sound, like I noticed you have the sound for all the chakras and those are the wheels and the beginning of the spin for all of them, and they all have connections to different aspects of our being, why wouldn't that just be what you would do, like you've been very specific, right eye. You know, I'm just wondering why you wouldn't Because most people don't understand chakras. Right. I mean, this crowd probably does as, as practitioners, uh, but the average person has 
absolutely no clue what a chakra even is. And so I, I was finding that it was really kind of limited for who could relate to it, because that's what I started out with first, was I the think, whole chakra system. Yeah, that would make sense. 